In my first term, we repealed the policy known as Don't Ask, Don't Tell. In Wait, though. In my second term, we will replace it with a policy known as It's Raining Men. It's Raining Men. It's Raining Men. But I have to tell you that over the course of uh, several years, as I talked to friends and family and neighbors, uh, when I think about uh, members of my own staff who are in incredibly committed monogamous relationships, same-sex relationships, who are raising kids together, uh, when I think about uh, those soldiers or airmen or marines or uh, sailors who are out there fighting on my behalf uh, and yet feel constrained even now that Don't Ask, Don't Tell is gone because uh, they're not able to uh, commit themselves in a marriage. Uh, at a certain point I've just concluded that um, for me personally it is important for me to go ahead and affirm that uh, I think same-sex couples should be able to get married. In my first term, we repealed the policy known as Don't Ask, Don't Tell. In Wait, though. In my second term, we will replace it with a policy known as It's Raining Men. My name is Larry Sinclair. I'm making this video and posting it on YouTube because of an incident involving myself and Senator Barack Obama between November 3rd and November 8th, 1999 in the Chicago, Illinois area. The mainstream media and Obama himself has done greatly to prevent this story from becoming public. During those time periods in 1999, I met Obama at an upscale lounge in Chicago, Illinois. After having a few drinks, Obama and I left in my limo, began to drink. Mr. Obama acquired powder cocaine for my use, crack cocaine for his use. I performed oral sex on Senator Obama, who at the time was a state representative for the state of Illinois. Mr. Obama knows these allegations to be true. A man who worked as a choir conductor and school teacher is found shot to death. The victim, 47-year-old Donald Young. Good evening, everyone. Young's death has been ruled a homicide. His body was discovered yesterday morning inside his south side home at 2320 East 69th Street. He was one of those success stories in terms of a kid 
whom the average person would look at and say he doesn't have a chance. When news of his killing came during Sunday morning services, Reverend Wright tells us many parishioners got up and went straight to Young's home. This third floor apartment on the 2300 block of East 69th Street is where Young was found by his roommate, shot to death. are learning more about the most horrific murder ever reported in the history of their city. A gunman dressed in a Santa suit killed six family members and then took his own life. Police are now learning more about the deadly massacre that happened inside this apartment. Today they tell us the gunman was dressed as Santa Claus when he opened fire on six family members then turned the gun on himself. In my first term, we ended the war in Iraq. In my second term, I will win the war on Christmas. thought it as something that's uh, still um, um, holding the country back. You know what what people do in their, you know, in their in their own homes is you know their business, and who, they, you choose to love whoever you love. That's you know that's their business. That's it's no different than discriminating against blacks. It's discrimination, plain and simple. There are a lot of pundits out there that say this is going to cost him votes, particularly African American votes. There are some black religious leaders who were not happy about this decision. Um, do you think it's going to cost them those votes? I think it's the right thing to do. So whether it costs them votes or not, you know, again, it's not about, it's really not about votes. It's about people. And so whether it costs them votes or not, I think it's the right thing to do as a, as a human being.